Renata Anna Delvey, the convicted con artist who's portrayed in the popular Netflix show Inventing Anna. She has lost her battle to stay in the U.S. after completing her prison sentence. Deborah Roberts has the story. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, George. Anna Sorokin's lawyer says despite his best efforts, she is apparently back in Germany this morning. Not exactly the ending the 31-year-old Russian-German immigrant had in mind after that elaborate con game which ensnared and embarrassed some of New York's biggest names. But immigration officials apparently wrote another chapter. I am famous. This morning, the real-life muse for the Netflix hit series Inventing Anna has apparently been deported. I painted a public picture of me as a criminal. That's not my story. And what is your story? Anna Sorokin has spent the past year in immigration custody. A deportation order signed for her in February. Rumors started swirling today, and then I hadn't heard from her this afternoon, which is our normal practice. Speaking with GMA overnight, her attorney says he's been fighting her case and that legally she should not be sent back to Europe. Traditionally, you have 30 days to appeal any orders, and then the appeal will either be denied or approved. And so if you do the math, I think we had until the 18th or 19th of this month. Infamously known as the Soho Grifter, Sorokin conned big banks and the New York elite into believing she was a German heiress with a $60 million inheritance. In reality, Anna, who adopted the last name Delvey, was found guilty in 2019 of stealing more than a quarter million dollars from acquaintances, banks, and hotels to bankroll her lavish lifestyle. Many people see you as the ultimate scammer. Are you? No, absolutely not. Her time behind bars, including 19 months at New York's infamous Rikers Island Jail. We spoke with her just as she was released from prison. The idea would be for this business to work and I would just repay everything. The impression these bankers are getting is that you have millions and millions of dollars in your account. If you have these millions, why do you need their money to fund your club? Even the richest of people always take out loans. I was just trying to get a cheap loan. Sorokin's brief stint back in society, financed in part by that Netflix deal she signed while in jail. But weeks after our interview, immigration authorities arrested her. Sorokin sharing her experience in this Insider Magazine op-ed, responding to the immigration judge's ruling, which said, the court finds that even if released from detention and ordered to report regularly to ICE, the respondent would have the ability and inclination to continue to commit fraudulent and dishonest acts. Sorokin adding, sorry, am I on trial for this again? Do you feel badly? Do you have regret? I feel like I'm just trying to deal with, uh, with consequences of my actions. Um, I was young. I would not repeat my actions. I'm just trying to make the best out of my situation. Sorokin has steadfastly maintained that she is not a danger to society, even writing in that cheeky manner while in custody that she has made financial restitution and that she has, quote, accomplished more in weeks than some people have in years. George. Okay. Thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.